Good morning. Sorry about the darkness. The sun is just now coming out. This is going to be a story of Mr. Wilbur. Okay, my husband and I, as you know, if you've been keeping up with us, have sold everything and given the rest away and to the poor and followed uh, Yahusha. Okay, so on this journey, it's been rough. Um, we broke down on uh, the highway and literally everything on my cart just collapsed just out of nowhere <laughs> and so there we are stuck and to our right is an abandoned house so real quick we we ask around no one knows so we go and we stay at this abandoned house outside we don't break in or touch any of this stuff I did get well from water from the well you know the bucket pool but we didn't you know, we're not vandalizers, we're not thieves, so we just wanted shelter for the night. Well, it just so happened that my horse, uh, by my own fault, stepped on my foot and severed my toenail. So I was down. So obviously the Lord did not, or excuse me, Yahusha did not want us moving. So in the midst of all this, uh, an old man named Mr. Wilbur stopped. And I asked, he asked how he could help. And I said, well... If you could take my stuff and my husband to the next town and drop my stuff off and bring my husband back to me, we can walk to our stuff with our horse. So I loaded everything we have off my cart into this man's truck. He took my husband and they were gone for three hours, which the town was only eight minutes away. So I'm like, whatever. Our phones were dead, so I couldn't communicate with him. He comes back with my husband and my stuff. So you understand at this point I'm frustrated. And now I have to unload everything out of the truck again, which is double work. And I I don't know, I have a low tolerance for ignorance. So um, I unloaded the truck again. And in the midst of all this, I'm telling the old man, you know, look, and, and by the way, he had brought us lunch. He bought my husband and I lunch. And so he felt he had done a great service to me. And so I reminded him that... You gave me the fish. I eat today. I asked you to give me the pole, the line, and the hook so that I can go and feed myself. And he understood me. This man was 80 years old. He comes from that generation where they still remember. And so the next thing I know, he's gone, and this man out of nowhere shows up, and he's a welder. And he takes my cart, and I didn't think I was ever going to see it again. To be honest with you, I don't have much faith in people. Um, that's my struggle, my battle, and I'm plucking my thorn. There's blood everywhere. So this man welds my, my, my cart back together again. And so I just, I just want to remind everyone that God is not, uh, excuse me, I got to quit saying that. Yahusha is not dead. He never was. He's always been here in everything all around you. When you're stopped at that gas pump and the pump won't work and you get frustrated, it's because five minutes down the road there was an accident and he was preventing you from it. See, he prepares the path ahead of you. That means he already knows where you're going, what you're doing, why you're doing it, when you're gonna do it. And he prepares that for you. So, this is just a reminder that there are people out there that remember we're not all in a coma. Some of us are awake. And just to remind you, this is the awakening. So, um, stay tuned. Uh, my husband and I are still horse cart traveling. Uh, we got stuck because of my toe. And I would like to tell a real quick story. Um, but that'll be my next posting. We'll leave it there. But there was a lady that pulled over in quite a huff. And that's an interesting story because it's still going. But we'll get back to that one. Right now, this one's called Mr. Wilbur. And uh, let him be a reminder that that generation is not dead. And there's a scripture that I heard of that says, This generation will not die until dot dot dot. And I'll let you look that up. I'll give you the line, the, the, 
the, the fishing pole, the line, and the hook. And I'm even going to give you the worm. Truth Unveiled 7-7 is a wonderful program to watch. He is awesome. He's like right on. And um, there's so many other. Check my channels out. God bless. Excuse me. Gotta stop that. Yahua, bless you. Wisdom, knowledge, discernment to know the difference. Stay tuned.